Hello, today's devotional can be found in Haggai chapter 1 verse 6. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Alright, so here's the thing. Some people are just never happy. They get all the blessings in the world, and some people are just never happy. And you know what? That's their choice. The Lord wants to bless us. The Lord wants us to be happy with the blessings that we have. He wants us to find joy therein. And he invites us all to find reason to be happy, but some are just not. Some enjoy being miserable. And they can't seem to get themselves out of that trap. We cannot be afraid to find joy therein, because life is very short. And men were made to have joy. And the atonement of Jesus Christ enables us to let go of our sins and our sorrows and our weaknesses that we might have joy therein and be very happy. We cannot accept all the blessings in the world and then simply be miserable because then we're showing how ungrateful we are to God and to Jesus Christ for all that they have done. If we're going to be miserable, great. Don't accept the blessings that God gives you. Because then you're basically mo mocking him and insulting him by saying, I'm going to take these, but I'm not going to appreciate them. Don't do that. Those who mock God will be punished. If you want to be miserable, fine. If you want to be ungrateful, if you don't want to see the blessings in your life, fine. If you want to not regard all that God has done for you, that's fine. If you want to be miserable at all the blessings you receive, great. Go ahead. But don't... Don't accept the blessings and then be miserable. Enjoy the blessings you are given and enjoy the blessings that come your way as you progress through life. Satan would have us be miserable, but if we're going to accept blessings from God, we should find a reason to have joy. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.